Hello! Thank you for returning for part 3 of Balancing of Chemical Equations. Let us go on, move on with solving our problems. We now come to this equation where we have iron chloride, ferric chloride combining with sodium hydroxide to give us ferric hydroxide and sodium chloride. Sorry. So when we have to solve this, let us first write down the elements. How many irons do you have in the, on the reactant side? One. How many chlorines? Three. How many sodiums? One. How many oxygens? One. Hydrogen? One. Okay. On the product side, we have one iron. Whenever you have anything in a bracket in parenthesis, you have to multiply every element inside it with the subscript given outside. So O is uh, chlorine first. Chlorine is mm, one. Sodium is one. Oxygen would be three and hydrogen would also be three. So what do we have balanced and what do we have unbalanced? Hydrogen and oxygen are not balanced, but I told you that since they are usually present in more than one reactant and product, we try to balance them in the end. And remaining elements, we try to balance them first. So we see that sodium seems to be balanced. Chlorine is not balanced. So chlorine is only one and there are three chlorines here. So in order to balance that, we should multiply this by three. Where is chlorine? In this formula. So I have to multiply. Remember, we can only change the uh, coefficient. We cannot change the subscripts. We cannot change the formula as such. So we can only change the number of molecules of every constituent, whether it is the reactant or the product. So the moment I multiply sodium chloride by three, not only does chlorine become equal to three, the sodium also becomes equal to three. So I have to multiply this by three too. So this becomes three. Now, in order to convert balanced sodium now, I should be multiplying the sodium part with 3. So, if I multiply sodium with 3, I get a 3 here, but how would I do it? Multiply the uh, component or the compound containing sodium or the reactant containing sodium. It may be an element, it may be a compound. So, I multiply this by 3. When I multiply this by 3, now what do I get? I've got three sodiums, but oxygens automatically are multiplied by three and hydrogens are also automatically multiplied by three. So let us see now, what do we come to? I think we have already achieved the balancing. Iron, one on each side, chlorines, three on each side, sodium is three on each side and oxygens automatically got balanced when I multiplied this by three. We already had three on each on this side and we got threes on the other side too. Equation is balanced. Let's take the next question. C3H8 combines with oxygen to give you carbon dioxide and water. How many carbons? Three carbons. Hydrogens. Eight hydrogens. How many oxygens? Two. Carbon. There's one. Hydrogen. There are two. Oxygen. Two plus one. Remember, whenever you have an element in more than one reactant or product, we would like to write them separately so that we can, whatever we multiply it with would be only one of the reactants or, or the products. And therefore, that helps to know what is the ultimate answer. Now, oxygen we'll come to in the end, hydrogen also. Let us first balance carbon. There are three carbons here. So if I multiply this by three, I would be multiplying this by three because this is the component that has, this is the uh, product that has carbon in it. So if this becomes three, automatically carbon is three, but oxygen, which was two, would also be multiplied by three. So now if oxygen is also multiplied by three, so what do, we, what do I have then? Three twos are six plus one oxygen. So now I have six plus one oxygen here and now that I have balanced the carbons let us now move to hydrogens. There are eight hydrogens here and two. In order to make this eight I should multiply this by four. Okay in order to make hydrogens so which is the part which has hydrogen this one so this would be four water molecules. The moment I multiply this by four this becomes eight but oxygen becomes four which was one here. So one into four, so this will become four. If this is four, this is now 10. 
How many oxygens do I have now? I have 10 oxygens. Now, two fours are eight. My hydrogens are balanced, carbons are balanced, but I'm now left with oxygen. So six plus four, in order to make it 10, I should multiply this by five. So this would be five. The equation is balanced. The last problem, I hope I'm able to do it within the uh, time. Uh, you have ammonia, copper oxide, copper, nitrogen, and water. What are the reactants? Nitrogen, one, hydrogen, three, copper, one, oxygen, one. In the product side, what do I have? Nitrogen is two, hydrogen is two, copper is one, and oxygen is also one. Right? So how do I uh, balance this? There is one nitrogen and two nitrogens. So if I multiply this by two, if I multiply this by two, nitrogen would be balanced. The moment I multiplied this by two, hydrogen was three into two becomes six. So three into two would be six. This has become three, oh, sorry, two. The nitrogens are balanced, but here I have six hydrogens. Copper is one, copper is one, oxygen is also balanced, so now hydrogen is not balanced. In order to balance hydrogen, in order to make this six, I should multiply this by three. Where is the hydrogen? Here. So if I multiply this by three, oxygen automatically is multiplied by three. Do you see this? If I multiply this by three, oxygen automatically is multiplied by three. And therefore, now I have, uh, this is equal to six, which is balanced. Now, oxygen, there are three oxygens here and three oxygens, copper, yeah, now oxygen is not balanced. Do you see? We have only one oxygen. In order to balance that, we should multiply this by three. If I multiply this by three, copper automatically gets multiplied by three. And if copper gets multiplied by three, now in order to balance the uh, copper on this side, I should multiply this by 3, 2. Right? So now my equation is balanced. I have two nitrogens on both the side, six uh, hydrogens on both sides, three coppers on both sides, and three oxygens on both the sides. So this was balancing of chemical equations. Please practice as many problems as you can. It'll help. Thank you for watching. Keep returning for more to my channel. Bye-bye.